Hello, fellow crustaceans. This is Bella bringing you up to date on everything under the sea. And today, boy, do we have a story for you. We just got word that a new species of worm called the Nemertians are consuming more than half of Dungeness crab eggs. Yes, Bella, that is correct. They have devastated many clam beds off the coast of San Francisco. Nemertians are attacking our children during their egg stage. The ugly Nemertians mm. are protostomes, which means they have bilateral symmetry and three germ layers, which also means that during embryonic development, the mouth develops first and then the anus. Ugh, gross. Stupid worms. All they do is stretch and contract their little bodies, drift through the water. Ugh. And it's so gross when they use their own mucus to drag themselves along the rocks. Maybe we should eat their children. How do they reproduce, Jamie? Well, Bella, from what we understand, the worms appear to become increasingly active once they're ready to engage in mating behavior. They join together in a mating mass, releasing gametes through pores or body ruptures. They also fertilize externally and at times in a mass of mucus. Nemertias are sexually dimorphic and their zygotes develop into planular larvae, which sometimes develops inside of the womb of their young and form imaginal discs. These savage beasts in larva form devour tissue from their young to survive and engage in metamorphosis to adult-like morphology. That sounds a little complicated. Maybe we should start a counterattack. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I know where we can find them. <clears throat> They're usually found throughout all oceans, mainly in marine habitats. Most precisely, they can be spotted in shallow waters near rocks and barnacle beds and hanging out with the mussels. Sometimes, however, they can be buried in the mud, sand, or gravel, so the troops will have to account for that. How did this crime even start, Bella? Well, Nemertians are hunters and scavengers. They have many methods for capturing their prey. Sometimes they stab them with a sharp structure that they have inside them called a stylet. Sometimes their noses release a poisonous substance when they come in contact with their prey. And other times... They will coil around their prey and then swallow it whole. They hunt small invertebrates such as bivalves and insects, but sadly, their main target is crustacean eggs. This might be the most gruesome crime I have ever seen in my life. Tell us more about our enemy. We need to know what we're up against when we attack. It is important to note that the phylum Numerite has two classes, Anopla and Enopla. The main difference between the two is the presence of body armoring. The Anopla are typically unarmed, meaning they do not have a little dagger inside of them, while the Enopla are armed and have a little dagger. This is important information to take into account when our, uh, when our troops attack. Now let's take a look at phylogenetics. In the data matrix tree, you can see that Nemertia is most closely related to its sister taxa, Annelida. It is also closely related to Mollusca, Arthropoda, and Chordata. In the 16S DNA tree, you can see that Nemertia is closely related to Arthropoda, Mollusca, as well as Annelida. The outgroup for both trees is Periphera. However, the 16S DNA tree is probably more accurate considering it takes in account all of the DNA and RNA, whereas the data matrix was just something that we had observed through dissection. In this phylogenetic tree, based off of research done by Telford et al. 2015, Nemertia is most closely related to Mollusca and Annelida. They are all sister taxa to each other and share the same common ancestor. These researchers used a multitude of different factors when creating this tree. They took what they already knew about animal phylogeny, DNA sequences, as well as morphology and molecular-based evidence. One scary fact we need to know before we attack, however, <clears throat> is that the largest species of ribomorph is Lanius langissimus, which can be found in the waters of the North Sea. Not only is it the largest Numeritian, but it may be the longest animal on planet Earth. <sighs> scary stuff. It is even longer than the blue whale, growing up to 30 meters or 98 feet. Wow. Well, thank you for listening to our broadcast. Now you know, fellow crustaceans. Be safe out there. We would like to thank Dr. Gasparian, RTA Anna, Ash, and the LMU Biology Department.